Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Men's Chapter House. Here we're going to start on the ground. Um, we just hop into rules today. We are uh, going to take the mats afterwards and all that kind of stuff. But as we hop into this, he's going to make positive contact, uh, clearing the legs. I'm going to start to make contact of my own and then basically get my legs back into line, uh, getting into Z guard. I believe it's called Z. I'm just gonna keep calling it Z guard. If it's not right, well, someone will correct me eventually. Uh, here I work to get to the other side. I start pulling on his leg, and then I'm just basically gonna be able to sit and take his back. Um, even if I don't get his back because of the resistance, and then I go into mount, as you see. Um, he could have fought that harder. However, when people get pretty good contact of you and an underhook, and you can basically wrap around the other side. It's going to be very hard to get uh, get your back exposure um, limited again. And here I'm just going to hold hold them down. Um, basically, all I'm doing is uh, doing light frames uh, or light pillars out uh, and about. Um, he's going to have a hard time doing trap and rolls and like sneaking in um, things, but when you uh, Trap and roll hard, uh, it's a good way to get, or like actually using hip rotation, anything done with strong intention typically works. And here I have him in omoplata, and on the other side I had uh, control of his uh, other upper body, so it made it hard for him to do any roll. And here I just slide my foot to the underside of his other foot, extending his foot, so he basically can't. Um, like once he started to slide, he gets put into a tighter position. Um, probably a little rough on his back. Um, not gonna lie, because if someone did that to me right now, I probably wouldn't be walking. Um, back's too tight for that. <laughs> It'd be, I'd be hurting. However, obviously, he doesn't look like it uh, was an issue for him. Uh, here again, I'm just maintaining top pos top position. I'm almost standing up at this point, so like I'm really not putting that much pressure on him. Um, once we get lower down, it feels like a way more pressure. As you can see, his body starts to have a hard time fighting it once I get lower. So, if someone's like standing up on you, they, they're not like dropping all their weight on you. Here I could set up a Darce, uh, but I've never finished a Darce in my life. So I'm really just kind of holding him down, um, using that top pressure. If he could use rotational pressure, uh, he could probably end up on top here. Or at least induce a scramble. Um, that's easy to say, but hard to do kind of thing. Um, and then my pressure here, I guess I uh, just held him there long enough. And he was like, okay, let's move to a next spot, right? Because once you're stuck somewhere and you're new and you don't know what's going on, you might as well start again and get some more reps in. There's nothing wrong with that. So... Uh, we're looking for a little bit of blood here because he had a little bit of blood on his hand. We don't know what it came from. And I was like, well, I'm pretty sure it's not mine. So we started, started looking around, uh, be a little bit more hygienic kind of thing. Always uh, have that stuff in mind. So, um, but it was his nose. It's dry out. Maybe a little boop on the nose somewhere. Who knows? But <clears throat> here you're going to get a a hard frame, ready, ha ha. Limited editing, just so everyone knows. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of doing uh, like heavy edits or anything. You see what it is, you get what you get kind of thing. Uh, this journal is meant for uh, really myself and then uh, whatever teammates would like to watch them. But if anyone gets better from it, I'm happy for them. And if my rambles are uh, enjoyable to someone, well, good. I'm glad they, they helped someone out. But this is uh, not meant for other people in the same sense of, like, I, I uh, think I have something important to say. I don't. Nothing I say in these videos are important. If you gain anything from them, good. That's all I can say. Good. Uh, here I'm just going to hold him in this uh, position. I have him in an arm bar, but he's going to have a very difficult time coming up into it because of the angle of my body. I'm still preventing, or I'm on like a seatbelt style, uh, amount of pressure on his upper body. 
So it'll be hard for him to match his shoulder um, or to be able to rotate for his arm to become free. And then uh, here, I'm just basically going to show him that you can clear a lot of like um, side control locks when people, uh, they're in their wedges or, or not where they're supposed to be kind of thing. Um, and then you have to be able to insert your own wedges to prevent people. And then people can pass wedges when they can basic, basically go above or below them. So like wedges are going to be like your um, door stopper or whatever you want to call it. Um, but a door doesn't go upwards most of the time. And this is why a door stopper works. Um, here you see I get a, a cheeky Americana um, from the bottom position. However, um, that position doesn't like, it's not like a super solid position. If he would have rolled, fought uh, a little differently, it would have uh, gone away instantly, but it just would have made space. And that's all I, I used it for. Uh, here he's gonna try to take my back. Um, when he takes my back, I'm basically just gonna get lower. Um, he has that cross collar right now, but as soon as I put my hand on it, he's gonna lose it. I'm gonna cross it over. I'm basically just laying on top of his leg while controlling the other, and I'm just gonna turn into him. Um, then I'm gonna basically own the knee line and then sit up a little bit uh, and basically gonna run out of time. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully you learned something and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, thank you guys, bye-bye.